गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम महात्मा मंदिर द ब्यूटीफुल कन्वेंशन सेंटर एट गांधी नगर वेयर एक्टिविटीज एंड सेमिनार्स एंड कॉन्फ्रेंसेज हैपनिंग ऑन द फोर फ्रंट ऑफ डिफेंस एक्सपो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वी आर इन द सिटी ऑफ महात्मा गांधी एंड हेयर वी हैव विद आस द फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू ऑफ द डे थ्री विच इज मिस्टर विलियम ब्लेयर very fondly known to all of us as bill blair who is lockheed martin india's chief executive welcome bill bill to our chat room and how does it feel you know it's wonderful to be in gandhi ji city absolutely you know thank you sangeeta this is tremendous actually this is the the biggest uh, defense expo i've ever attended in the last 20 years and it's tremendously expanded and grown in terms of its ability to uh, really highlight the capabilities we have here in india uh, from indian companies uh, that have really grown over the last decade and and you know representing lockheed martin india uh, i've been here for a very long time um we're we're here uh we're present we're participating uh we have of our partnerships with tata uh, advanced systems limited tata aerospace and defense we've got a tremendous ecosystem of suppliers that we engage with over 300 suppliers uh here in india and and we're committed to deliver solutions as we are today with the C130Js that are operating with the indian air force the MH60 Romeos that are being inducted inducted with the indian navy and if you come to our booth you'll see the the first fighter wing that we produced with over 70% indian content and that's the fighter wing that we're offering on our F21 so just as we did with the C130Js we're we're committed and building in advance of the requirements wonderful bill and you know uh, being labeled as a completely indian show for indian industry has it helped you to advance onto your already existing big supply chain Absolutely. Yeah, I mean everyone's here. Uh and you know as the Prime Minister uh, inaugurated yesterday and reinforced by the Chief Minister of Gujarat and all the various seminars that we have here, uh you can see the presence and the engagement uh for for companies like us that have established a presence over decades engaging Indian companies and it's not just the large Indian defense companies. It's the MSMEs, it's the startups. And if you if you saw Garuda Aerospace uh rolled out a new drone and we actually have an MOU we're signing with them later today uh providing the software through Lockheed Martin Canada CDL Solutions that's helping them do the real time mapping that's a key element key technology so it's a great example where uh prime indian primes indian startups are rolling out new products and they're partnering with companies uh in our in in our case Lockheed Martin Syst- you know uh CDL Systems uh to provide a, you know the the cutting edge capability that's required that's for agriculture it's for border surveillance and defense requirements and so it's it's really exciting to see the transformation and the energy here uh in in Gandhinagar and uh, bill you know one thing which i really wanted to understand was that uh, lm with its expertise in defense and aerospace and you have so much of cyber ai this that so is there expansion expansion plan you have for lm in india with all these new coming futuristic technologies absolutely i mean we continue to grow through our our partners here in india and as i mentioned uh you know we have large scale partnerships jvs uh but we also have you know a lot of engagement with the indian startups to the india innovation growth program i would say a lot of the disruptive capabilities in ai machine learning uh 5g quantum computing uh that's going to be through MSME startups but also the commercial sector looking to leverage those technologies over into defense through civil defense convergence. So there's a lot of opportunities for us to to work together with our tier 1s in the US that are establishing presence here in India uh through their own partnerships. And so you see this ecosystem that's really growing. Uh the combination of of what's growing organically here in India and in collaboration with Lockheed Martin and and a lot of our tier 1 companies. And also uh, bill uh, is there a plan to expand onto your services global services Absolutely. which also means MRO activity etc. Yes, definitely. I mean we operate and support today that uh we're supporting Indian Air Force operating the C130Js. 
and, and we have a tremendous field support network that supports that as well as the induction of the MH60 Romeo. We're working with the Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy to see how can we support that more effectively here uh, and establish an MRO capability as the government is liberalizing a lot of attacks and other policies that are making it much more attractive to set up MROs here in India and do that in advance of requirement but you need to attract the uh, international opportunities regionally uh, in, in addition to the requirements say for C12, C130Js. It can also translate to a follow-on requirement for C130Js so as you expand the fleet um, I think that makes a much stronger case for MRO here in India as well. Absolutely and my last question Bill would be that uh, how has the footfall been for LM keeping in mind that we see a lot of small countries and their defense uh, delegations has it been an attraction for the regional level for uh, from Def Expo here? Here? Uh, yes definitely I mean I see a lot of uh, delegations that are coming through uh, we we've uh, hosted many of them here in our booth uh, we've had some great discussions uh, and looking at opportunities both for what we can produce here in India and for the world, but also what what their specific requirements are and how we can work together with them in collaboration. And I think, as it was mentioned yesterday by Prime Minister Modi, uh, looking at those those like-minded nations that need capability, uh, I think you're going to see more and more us working together with our Indian uh, suppliers, our Indian partners, to to produce that here in India for India, but. As I said yesterday, for the globe, that might be the earlier opportunity. So exports in parallel with meeting uh, Indian requirements. Thank you so much, Bill. Wonderful to have you on our chat room. Great. Hope to see you again in the next few months at Aero India. And I'm sure you'll have lots more to tell us then. Absolutely. Thanks, Thank, you Thank you very much.